Hi guys, got another subscriber video for you. Just going to give you a bit of an insight into what's coming up over the next couple of days and weeks at Vortas. So regular subscribers will know that over the weekend I popped up a video of the new NZXT Switch 810. And um, if you haven't already checked that video out, definitely go and check it. It is very impressive. Uh, not my video, just the actual case. Um, was very impressed with that case and I gave it the gold award on Vortas.net. So if you are interested in the thermal performance or perhaps a bit more detail, go over to our website and check that out definitely. Uh, in the immediate future though, I'm going to be taking a look at some of the systems which e-tailers build. Um, so many of you out there, the enthusiasts, will be able to select a list of components, uh, order them, get them over to your house, build the system in next to no time. Um, but some people don't have the expertise, perhaps don't have the confidence and the know-how or the time even to build a system. So um, we're going to be taking a look at some systems which e-tailers in the UK present to us like Scan, eBuyer, uh, Overclockers. The first of those is going to be from Scan. I'll just show you this case. <laughs> it's pretty heavy. Uh, this is inside a Silverstone Fortress case. You can see a little bit different than your typical case. It's uh, very tall and thin. It's got crossfire and um, it's, it's also built around the micro ATX form factor that's on the ASUS Maximus 4 Genie Z. So that's um, going to be very powerful. I'm going to be interested in what um, sort of performance you get for the, you know, the compact sort of size. That should be interesting. Also got some little reviews coming up of uh, some kit from Steel Series. So the Siberia V2 came out quite a while ago. Perhaps um, I think we did the reviews probably over a year ago. Uh, but they've been bringing out various different editions and uh, we're going to be taking a look, just giving you a quick overview of the new black and gold. So gamers out there will be impressed with that and they'll be able to appreciate. Um, personally, I, I really like the V2s and I've been using them quite a while. Good to see that they're doing different colours. So obviously done the review for that already, so I won't be doing going in any, any great depth. Just going to do a quick overview of that. Again, similar sort of review we're going to be doing of the Sensei, uh, Steel Series Sensei Fanatic Edition. So, this is uh, again something we've already reviewed, very impressed with it. Uh, going to be doing a quick overview of it and just show you um, just you know, sort of an exterior tour and uh, talking about the performance and things. Um, other things that are coming up. I've got uh, Cosmos 2 from Cooler Master, which I'll be taking a look at. Looking forward to that. Very heavy case. Just inside the packaging, 25 kilos without any components or anything. So, um, phenomenal amount of weight. Um, other things that are coming up. Sahil's got some coolers coming up, CPU coolers. Um, Tony's looking at Zotac A75 ITX motherboard. Alex is going to be taking a look at the Crosshair 4 Extreme. That's the AMD side of things again. And again from AMD, Rich is going to be taking a look at the new 7950, which is coming up very soon. Um, and that's going to be an exciting sort of thing to look at. We've got various cards coming up. So he's going to be looking at uh, performance, not just a single card, but um, multi-cards. So Keep an eye on Vortex.net for that. That is um, coming up very shortly. Can't tell you the date. Well, I shouldn't really, but um, yeah, I'll keep that under wraps. Better not say anything about that. But um, that should be impressive. Um, anything else? I think that's basically it in terms of the next couple of weeks. So um, keep an eye on the channel and keep an eye on Vortex.net. As always, guys, thanks very much for all the support that you give us and um, take care of yourself and I'll see you soon.